Hey, what's up? This is James Mathis III, the voice of Black Panther in Black Panther's Quest. Hey, it's Daisy Lightfoot, the voice of Shuri in Black Panther's Quest. And we are here to watch the finale, the season finale of Black Panther's Quest. Get excited. I'm excited. You excited? I'm super excited because I know you put it down. Daisy, you always put it down. You put You're it always down. super amazing, and yes. I can't wait to to watch your work come to life. Let's do it. Your king has been defeated. From this day forward, you will all show obedience to Basque. Well, kneel. Wow, oh, that, that didn't take much. Oh no, it Steal didn't. Loyal to your brother. The, Black Panther. the day you lose your he throne is, is never an easy one. He made Wakanda uh, and, and going into that episode, I had to, I guess, just kind of prepare myself. I mean, I prepared dead. the way I would for any other episode. Mm -hmm. But there, there's something you, about the agony of defeat that uh, that was very long-lasting in this particular episode. So know this with your life. Oh, uh, she put, she hands put her on hands you on me. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, there so you I go. So I put feet on him. <laughs> Thank you. What's happening? Take that. Yeah. Claw knows what's happening. Uh huh. Lend me your arm. This guy. Yeah. Choose your allegiance now. <laughs> right. Whose side are you on? Yes, thank you. Come along, Claw. We are leaving. You're not going anywhere. Is that right? Oh, let's see. I need her to stop putting her hands. Yeah. Well, let's begin. <laughs> Hi. White Wolf, everyone. Yeah. Yes. The this coup got lost in the mail. Mm -hmm. I'm not with them. I'm not with them. Now it's a family affair. Exactly. You know? Listen, we had to bring everybody in. Thank you. when it all comes crashing down, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Woo! Bam! He's always got a pose. Always. Brother shows up on scene with a pose. <laughs> Bam. You don't need me anymore. You stay with us, too. Right now, you remain my best weapon. To introduce a sibling um, who was not, you know, of, of the same uh, ethnicity, necessarily, uh, was great. It, was, it, was, it wasn't a challenge. I think it just showed how seamless it should be, exactly. how seamless we can all just be integrated into, into our lives and, and yeah. for us into, into family, yeah. you know, and so it was great. It was great with everything that he brought and, and everything that his character embodied, you know, the, the, the whimsy, the, yeah. the, the zest for life and all of that and, and, and playing that against T'Challa's sense of, of responsibility and being so grounded, I think, yeah. was awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, Trevor, Trevor is so oh, great. Yeah. Trevor is just awesome. It's amazing. Working with Trevor, uh, with Trevor was a real joy. With oh that, my gosh! Woo! That's how, That's how you go to break. That's how you go to break. Wow! Never gets old seeing that. At all. Never. <laughs> We go in the session and we record uh, verbally everything that has to be done, and then we send it off. Mm -hmm. And the magic is when we get to sit down and see the finished product. And mm -hmm. and with the way things are, I don't typically get to see them until they air right. on, on television. And so by that point, it's not just you know me talking into a microphone or, or any of that. It's it's the artwork. Right. It's, it's the animation. It's the music. It's everything coming to life, and you really get to see how much of a collaborative effort it is. It makes me want to work harder in in my portion mm -hmm. of in my piece of the puzzle. Absolutely. You know, because I'm like, if I bring 100%, and this one brings 100, and everyone <laughs> just brings 100, we're just gonna have something really amazing. After recording for such a long time and finally seeing the end product is only something that I can compare to a kid on Christmas. Mm. <laughs> Truly, when I see it, I sit down in front of my TV like, what is this going to look like? Mm. Because it's like we created this universe in, my, in our mind, right? When we're recording it and we're, we're working together and we're able to be in that room together because we record it as an, as an ensemble. Um, but it's just, it's a different feeling when you're able to see it all come together it's just that culmination of everybody's dedication and hard work and it's a beautiful beautiful gift Atlantis attacks 
Aww, brother. Look at that brotherly love. <laughs> I've had quite enough of this entire affair, thank you very much. I only joined the Shadow Council to expand my business opportunities and maybe smuggle a little more vibranium out of Wakanda. That's the problem. Somebody in black is <laughs> punching me in the face. As far as I'm concerned, the whole of Wakanda can stay hidden in this stupid jungle for all time. That's what we like, indeed. Well, looks like we finally broke Claw. Yes. He will return someday. Forget about him. <laughs> right now, we need to get Shuri out of there. We did break close. Shuri is right where she needs to be. Oh, so you got a plan to go after Basque? We are not going after Basque. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. It sounded like you just said we're not going after it's Basque. It sure did. Hunter, Basque defeated me in combat. I cannot challenge her again. I cannot be king. Kingdom again. lost. Fine. What are you gonna do, huh? Then I'll do Let's it. See. You know the law. Hey. Only one of the royal bloodline may challenge her. I don't know if he was playing ignorant or if he really didn't know. I know. Yeah. Mother's not just gonna let that happen. He'll try and stop her. And that is now our job. If, if Shuri was is that to easy. take the throne from Basque, huh? we must find help. What kind of help are we gonna find in here? You'll see. Shuri, yeah. Killmonger thinks I should rid myself of you right now. Execute you before you challenge me for my throne. Would you do that, princess? Let me tell you. When the time you. is right, in mm. my own way. Oh yeah. There is great fire in you. The same as my own. Both of us have been saddled with weak brothers. All right. Both of them stood in our way. Let's relax. Now That's both not of them even cool. Are That's gone. not nice. You underestimate my brother. Sure Thank you. He has only ever worked to keep our people safe. He a lot of time talking about black girl magic. Yeah. But Atlantis this scene right there thrive. with you two is so awesome so scene. Oh, oh, yeah, this ruins. relationship between Shuri and Bass is something the else. There's so Kim many Mongo different levels to it They'll because you still have that like force. family They'll dynamic of, you know, her showing me around the palace and trying to show me her way of doing things. But I've obviously operated under your leadership and your guidance. And so I just, there's no way I would ever be able to rule the way she would. Right. And she's kind of like that outlier. But it's, you see the levels of her still caring and her wanting the best for Wakanda in her own way. Living her life is mistake enough, my queen. Mm -hmm. giving her freedom of the palace. Far too dangerous. She and her brother. She is not your concern, Killmonger. Well, you. there's that. You think that by being my liberator, you are now also my advisor. Mm. <laughs> Is my weapon yeah. ready? I do not Just believe that the philosophies of Shuri and T'Challa are the same. I think what, that Shuri? Shuri's are probably Wakanda. more informed. I think that Paradise comes from just being a slight the distance away from the throne. I think she's able to observe his decisions in ways that he doesn't necessarily get to observe hers and um and and, I, and I, to that end i think she is probably the uh she's got the, the greatest overview of, of things yeah i think i think they're different you better not agree you better say t'challa is the ruler and only king who knows everything sorry that's very t'challa of you t'challa would but yeah i think I think they differ in that T'Challa has been raised to do things a certain way, very traditionally, um, the way that his father did them. But also there are things within our society that need to be tweaked and shifted because things have changed so we can't lead the, the same way. Right. I'm the sword of Wakanda. That's my line. <laughs> Alana, I have considered your words. Tiger shark. Here is my answer. <laughs> the sea is no longer your home. It is now a Talk about an angry bird. Man. All right. Uh -uh. He's a little grumpy. No, no, you can't. It is done. Artist did an amazing job of capturing these facial expressions I of these know. characters. That's real. There's so much emotion in their faces. So it's, it's wonderful to see. It plays well with, with, with what I saw in the room and the emotion that you guys were putting into these characters in these scenes. Exactly. It's great. It's really awesome. We felt that. It's an Man. awesome collaboration. And I, I enjoyed our moments together. You know, I learned a lot just 
learning from you, you know, and in our evolution as as T'Challa and Shuri and, and brother and sister, and how that relationship grew as the series has evolved, you Definitely. know. Um, so I appreciate that being able to learn from you, and, and any opportunity to to work with a, a really solid professional is an opportunity to learn and, and improve. And, and I certainly can say that I benefited from from both you and Scott. Absolutely. Yeah. I learned so much from both of you guys. I'm, I'm so appreciative of everybody in that room, but like, especially you two, that guidance was something that I was just, I didn't know that I needed. And it was something that was so, so beneficial to me during filming or during recording, so. I always say I have two brothers in real life. So it's like, I, I always remind you guys that it's really just like being at home. Like obviously, you two have your squabbles. And I'm always like, hey, 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 everybody, everybody just calm down. Indeed, indeed, yeah. Everybody, let's get this mission accomplished. That's but right. it's all for the greater good. Yeah. At the end of the day, we love each other. And it's just, it's an amazing thing to be a part of. Yeah. Scott is incredible. He is, He's he just is. I, I think that the, the role, uh, the role of White Wolf was in, in very capable hands. Yeah. I think Scott is a, is a very, very sharp and, and talented actor and, and very well suited for the part. Yep. Trevor Duvall is so multifaceted and just so talented. Everything that he brought into the room, whether he was voicing Claw or someone else, because he did various, mm -hmm. various voices throughout the season, but whether he was doing that or he was writing every perspective that he worked from, it was just excellent consistently. So we yeah. appreciate him in that whole whole process. Yeah, and, and to, have, uh, to have such a great actor playing a character who is such an important foil within the whole uh, show, I think, really adds to the, uh, the cohesiveness of us as a cast. Definitely. And, and I think it shows in the work. It's, it's very... It's very well connected. It's very well connected. And I appreciate that as an actor, as I'm sure you do. It's, it's great to, to work with people with whom you, you feel a, a good connection. Definitely. Yeah. And he's responsible for, uh, for this episode as well, and he wrote uh, a few episodes uh, this season. So it's always great to, to have the writer in the room if there are any questions about, um, about the episode, about yeah. maybe a character's motivation. Uh, and so to have him in there in that capacity, but also as a beyond talented artist, mm -hmm. you know, actor, was uh was great it was great you know I think Trevor really uh, embraced the uniqueness of Claw even in his sound you know he he really took the time he did his homework to to craft that sound and I think it I think it shows it's 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 very unique and it's very it's very awesome Trevor did an amazing job yeah. Beautiful use of color. Yeah. The purples, the yellows, the shades of purple. The Dora Milaje serve Wakanda. You must do the same. By becoming a monster like you? Absolutely not. Mercy to our enemies makes Wakanda weak. No, it doesn't. No, but she does have a cool hairstyle. She does have a real cool hairstyle. That's a nice fade. Her accessories are awesome. Beautiful character design. You say my brother was weak, but the child not something you cannot. Yeah. And what is that? Wakanda, Atlantis, they're not things. They're not chess pieces to take or defend. Oh, this is one of my favorite only scenes. Want to protect themselves. Force will be met with more force because you have given them no choice. Exactly. Someday you will come to see that. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. There's what a rumbling. This? That's what I just said. Force will be met with exactly. force. Don't yeah. listen. And here come a bunch of fish looking people. <laughs> it is exactly as I told you. See? And they're flying. <laughs> Some of Atlantis has she survived was. and invaded the city. Prepare the weapon and we will finish them off. Yeah, just prepare the no. weapon. The just weapon. All that and one weapon. Just the weapon. We're going to destroy our own people. Exactly. Your people. Don't blame me. Blame the Atlantean. Girl, it was you did Atlanta. this. Totally. It was you. It's always been you. Sure has. You blamed Bashenga. You blamed Atlantis when all this time yeah. we came. She looked, she looked <laughs> she to the like, side uh... like, oh, did not have a point. <laughs> you, you look at me and see yourself. Mm -hmm. I look at you and I see nothing. Get a shuri. Oof. A shell of a woman with an empty heart. Mm. My heart burns for Wakanda. Woo. It has burned out. Bam. Oh. Ashes to ashes, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Hmm. Is it? Look at that. Oh, oh man, they took it back to this. Oh. Wow. 
They took it back to the uh -huh. <laughs> What's happening with Bask here is she is experiencing the same thing that T'Challa did mm. with, uh, with the crown and, and having those flashbacks that took him back. She's just having this moment that's taking her back, yeah. you know, and it's, it's, it's really important for her because it is the moment that she's able to make a decision, yeah. you know, and it's, it's the turning point for her wherein she can really dial into her passion for Wakanda mm -hmm. and really make a decision that is very unlike her at that point and unlike her her style of leadership and i think that's a that's a great evolutionary beat for her as a character and, and I'm, I'm pretty sure ashley had a great time with that yeah. because you know it's it's a great turn you know, yeah. it's, it's a great turn i think something beautiful about it is that it hints at her ability to right her wrongs no matter how much damage it's caused over the past um you know we saw in the past few episodes if you haven't seen it catch up um but we saw in the past few episodes that she she made her decision right and she decided that she was going to rule and be in charge and at, at no no matter what the cost was and so in this in this past last scene we see that she's able to make a decision that is for a collective and for other people Oh, what? leave him alone. Sorry. I'm more than no strings attached type. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a nice flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Bye, girl. Oh, yeah. That was a little dirty. Pull yep. This was the fight we've been waiting Whatever. for. <laughs> Killmonger is the ultimate foil for, uh, for T'Challa. The ultimate villain. The ultimate counterpoint because he more than anything wants the throne right so claw wanted our wares right claw wanted our vibranium that's cool we can handle that <laughs> but this is someone who wants the seat right and and so that that really made for a interesting uh, dynamic between between our characters mm -hmm. because of the underlying, because of the undertones of anything he had to say, was all about angling toward uh, toward the throne, right. and and it didn't matter who he had to uh, to use at his expense. It was it was Claw for a while, you know. Even even Basque is is, is having an issue with him, yeah. you know. Uh, I love his character. Yeah. I, I, I really do. Uh, I really do love his character. I love that they all have history mm. together, um, and and very very well played by Keston Johnson. Yeah. His character is so interesting mm. because he is so dedicated to getting that throne yeah. that it's just like you, he will go to the ends of the earth and has right. literally outer space right. to the depths of the sea. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. It wasn't First even all, him. Mind your business. He just... This is Wakandan's situation going on right here and you want to show up like a fish out of water. <laughs> She must not have heard Sam. when she said Basque is in charge. She did it. She seems a bit not unhappy. Just a little bit. I am your queen. Not my queen. <laughs> we don't have time for squabbles. He said not we my queen. The, <laughs> the princess speaks truth. She I has know. always been the smart one. It's too late. The Overlord can't be stopped. The crown is going to explode and wipe out the city. I like the sound of that. Oh, oh this guy. Tiger Shark. I tell you. Oh, boy. Wow. I tell you, he's harder to kill than, than Roach. Man. My goodness. Always popping up somewhere. Wow. Didn't nobody invite you? At all. At all. Nobody. Okay. But his character is definitely someone that is relentless every time he pops some of the uh, pops up on the screen mm -hmm. i immediately am like this guy yeah this right. guy again i'm thinking like I hope he will pop a lunch up. it's gonna be a long fight exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah. just pops up everywhere mm -hmm. and is everybody's friend apparently <laughs> because <Right>. what <laughs> yeah, yeah. but i appreciate it i appreciate it like it's dedication mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when i think of tiger shark uh i hearken back to uh, the way we came into this season. Yeah. And it was just T'Challa 
and Tiger Shark and just fight <laughs> after fight after fight after fight. And yep. he is a, and it, it probably is even a line from the uh, the show, that he's a very formidable foe. Mm -hmm. Certainly, certainly. Just a, a relentless, nagging, you know, just 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 villain, you know, in, in, in the classic sense of it. I mean it's it's shark. You think of shark, you immediately think villain. Right. You know, you think you think, ah, look right. out. You know, <laughs> right. and, then, and then here comes Matt Mercer. And he's just dripping with <laughs> with everything that you are, you know, he's just all of those, all of those things, right? And it's yep. it's just awesome. It's awesome. And it's another example of when when I see the, the finished product with the, with the animation, and then I, I think about how it was in, in session. It's just yeah. it's just a beautiful marriage of, of those two uh, highly exceptional skill sets, yeah. you know. And then I think Matt Mercer is, is uh, he's, he does an exceptional job with uh, with Tiger Shark. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a testy relationship between yeah. Atlantis and Wakanda, and is somewhat reminiscent to the Cold War of mm. uh, of the eighties, where you just someone's just waiting for the other person to do something that's yeah. a, a little too much of an agitation. It's yeah. a little too much of an aggressive act, and and that's going to incite the war. And mm -hmm. and it's tough living like that. Yeah. It, it, it's tough living like that with with the heightened sensitivity of, about all things. And with that being the case, something's bound to go wrong. Yeah. And it's it's just bound to explode. Yeah, I I would agree. I think that for both of these like major major societies it's it's difficult kind of living your life on the 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 edge or the coast if you will <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> yes. sorry you must i have to <laughs> it's who i am as a person <laughs> um but yeah i think it's just difficult kind of living your life waiting for a, a conflict to arise because mm -hmm. you you're you have all of these plans to defeat this other place but it's like within that there's still livelihood at stake like people still have to go about their daily lives and I don't think we think about that enough because there are so many different segments of society within both of these amazingly diverse and and very multi-dimensional mm -hmm. both of these societies are very multi-dimensional yes. so it's it's kind of difficult to uh, always be at odds with one another for such a long time, like right. centuries long, decades, you know, Forever. generational, yeah. generational That's a long time. beef. It's as infinite as, as the seas themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Hunter. I'm on my way. I will pick my teeth on your bones. If I had a nickel for every time. <laughs> you think he's gone? Mm -hmm. right. Always comes back. From overloading, but if I remove the crown, I think it will power down. That'll destroy you. If I don't, it will destroy the city. I have to try. No. I brought this upon Wakanda. Mm. Everything I have ever done was to protect our people. I will not stop now. All right, sis. Way to be responsible. Yeah. That's how you step up and show that you're a leader. Hermano, please, stop this. You and I did not choose this path. We do not have to follow it. You destroyed my city. Uh, now I will drown yours! Way to go, Ashley. Man. Oh no. T'Challa, what's happening down there? Ivana is flooding the city. Man. I must destroy her trident. But I do not know if I have the strength to. Oh lord. The crown. It's powerful enough for him to stop them. Its power could Come also on. kill him. Shuri, you must be strong. You are queen of Wakanda now. Your people must come before your family. Hunter, go. Do what must be done. Man. That was probably uh, the first order is queen. My God. Special delivery. <laughs> Wakanda. 
but it's the second time you have saved my life today. <laughs> oh, that's so much keep count. Here, from Shuri. No, the crown is too dangerous. Maybe, maybe not. It's the only way to stop this. Basque says you can do it. Basque says. Yeah. Hey, things move fast in Wakanda. Huh? Things change. Now put it on. <laughs> Save okay. the day. What about this? All right. Oh, and then this guy. This guy. Wakanda Again. Falls See? today. All of you will fall. Atlantis will <laughs> Let him have it. There he is. Ooh, hear that roar? Ouch. Ilana, you must call off your attack. All this, it is exactly what Killmonger wanted. We can stop this, you and I. I don't want to stop it. Then I must. What are you doing? Man. Forgive me for doubting. Challenge me, you did. In your own way. Let me help you. No, Shuri. Our only duty is to protect our people. Go. Do your duty. Oh, Farewell, Queen of Wakanda. Nothing left. It's all been taken from me. Gone! Lady Alana, we have survived the worst the shadows could throw at us. We can finally... Hunter! <gasps> Hunter! It's all my fault. We were just... He is... gone. Brother! It, it was the the fight to end all fight. It needed to be the just the greatest, most extreme display of emotion that we'd ever seen out of T'Challa. Yeah. He's he's usually very very reserved, and and we haven't had to see him experience so great a loss. Yeah. And, and I think that just opened the door for us to see a, a, a very different side of him. Yeah. Um, and and sadly in, in those moments it was it was one that was that was full of rage. You know, very very much full of rage. T'Challa. Justice, not vengeance. When I said the line T'Challa, it was don't because let this situation change who you are. Um, and you can choose in this moment to be as your enemies have been towards you, or you can choose to remain as you are a king. You know, even though you're not on the throne physically, um, you are still a king, you are still a leader. And so in this moment, these moments of, of hardship are what defines you and your leadership. Um, yes, I, and I think that was something Please. that was very powerful for You've Shuri because too much you know, here she is holding her now. now deceased brother, and that's something that you know she would never stand for. But this is her; these are her brothers, and so well she, as much place. as she's devastated about Hunter losing one of them, she can't lose the other Hunter one in the process. Yeah. But after all that went between us, I will miss him. There's much work still to be done. But when we wish to think of him, this is where we will come. You know, it was really unfortunate, but he, he died a noble death, I'm if, never if going you could say that. You know, he, he died as a prince and of Wakanda, you? Yeah. you know, certainly. What about me? Definitely. Now that you are no longer king, what are you going to do? I believe I will take some time to spend amongst our people and to reflect on all that has happened. <laughs> be careful, T'Challa. It almost sounds like you are going to retire those claws of yours. 
Do not worry, sister. Being your brother will always be exciting. But it's powerful to see him that be will able not change to now that you rule. kind of let her flap her wings. <laughs> you know? Ooh. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful shift from the beginning of the season. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. What? what? <laughs> wow, this is one of my favorite parts. I know. I really like to drink this part. I know. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Barry Lawson. Amazing. Thank you, Mark amazing. Madsen. Thank you, Kenneth Ito. Thank you, Hannah McDonald. Thank you, Ashley Matsunami. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Jeffrey Thorne. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Hey, what's up? This is James Mathis III, the voice of Black Panther in Black Panther's Quest. Hey, it's Daisy Lightfoot, the voice of Shuri in Black Panther's Quest. And we are coming to tell you to tune in to Disney XD. For more legendary Marvel videos, click the subscribe button.